Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 23 video. Before I get into what we have for today, I need to let you guys know that next week Monday, there will be no upload at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Instead, I will be moving that upload to this coming Saturday, June 3rd, and I'll try to get it uploaded around the same time, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I'll be going on a trip on Monday, so I won't be recording, or I won't even have time to edit or anything like that. So, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. The upload should come out this coming Saturday instead at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anyways, we're with the Blue Jays team today, and you guys haven't seen this team in quite some time, so I thought I'd give you guys a look at it. Right now, this is what I'm working with. I did get Trevor Richards, as you can see in my pitching rotation in the bullpen, to Black Diamond. He has pitcher's chemistry now. Uh, Hyunjin Ryu is now a Black Diamond. David Price is out of the game. And Kevin Pillar also is Black Diamond. I'm working on getting batter's chemistry for him. And that's because this team still hasn't gotten a team SIG ever since Teoscar Hernandez from the Team Select Signature Pack over a year ago. So all my Black Diamond pieces, I'm just investing them into the normal cards right now. We have three signature player packs, and we have a good chance of pulling a team SIG today. Hopefully that's the case, and hopefully we can get somebody that's good. And uh, Jose Bautista is also back in the game. Sean Green was added into the game as a Blue Jay, so I'm super excited for that. We have a lot of packs. Let me show you guys what the inventory is looking like. Uh, as you can see, three signature player packs. We also have a lot of prime packs, but the Blue Jays don't have really any good primes that I could use for my team. I have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, I have David Price, who's not in the game anymore. And there's uh, a couple others that I can't think of right now, but they wouldn't benefit my team. Uh, we have ultimate player packs, teams like Diamonds that we'll be opening up, an ultimate wish player pack that I will be going Robbie Ray with. And uh, I looked at my options, and honestly, I could fill out my fifth spot in the rotation. Alec Manoa is not my best starter, and he's the only pitcher in my rotation besides Ryu and besides Price that doesn't have a triple three set. So uh, looking to replace him today. Let's just get straight into it, though. Enough of me talking. Silver player packs, we'll start off with those. We'll also be doing special training. I'm working on Ryu right now to get him to level 10, and uh, he has a finesse pitcher and dominant pitcher right now. So hopefully we can get... Um, what you call it that uh, get more of that done today andrew bailey right there i think he's is his prime back in the game by the way i know he has a prime for oakland i have to check that out later um but andrew bailey's back in the game apparently i did not know that okay that's pretty cool just goes to show you guys how um distanced i was over the past month from this game also, there is a new meta update coming on May 30th. I just looked at the details in the news, and it's pretty interesting. Um, basically, it's going to be fielding and speed and location and, uh, or break and fastball and stamina are going to be improved, uh, as well as a few legend skills. Master Base Thief is going to be better, uh, as well as a couple changes to ranked. I can't go into all of it right now, but that's basically the gist of what the update is. Uh, I don't know how it's going to affect the, the way the game goes or the game plays, but for me personally, I've still been training players like how I normally do. Uh, I posted a short the other day and I pulled a Gene Segura with 50 base fielding. And I don't know how that's going to affect or how that's going to work with the new meta. Um, I have to experiment with it. It's not his best year, I guess you could say now. 2018 is his best year because he has higher fielding with the Mariners. And speaking of Gene Segura, what do you know? This is not the card I was talking about, but this is two year or this is his year before he joined the mariners it's funny how uh things have been popping up like this gene segura pops up and if you guys watched last video uh you guys know what happened then but gene segura anyway i don't know what to do with him on my, on my mariners team i might just save him or wait for 2018 we'll see what happens position select pack uh honestly let's go for a first baseman maybe we can get carlos delgado i don't know it's not a diamond, so not probably going to help us. And there's no special. Yu Chang, 2021. He's now with the Red Sox, my favorite team. And uh, not doing so hot there, but he's a good um, bench player that can play multiple positions. Also, I just started playing MLB The Show 23, and uh, I've actually gotten pretty into it. I don't know if I'm going to make videos on it. I probably won't because I don't have the time to do it. But it's my own little personal thing that I do on the side. Let's open up 100 uh, premium player packs, or actually we'll open up 50 of these, so uh, 50 like usual, that's tradition. 
All right, first 10, we don't get anything, really no upgrade material. Yimby Garcia uh, has a Blue Jays card, but I don't have that diamond uh, as of now. Almost forgot Corey Kluber pay played for the Yankees. I think he's played for every AL East team except for the Orioles, if I'm not mistaken, because he's with the Red Sox right now. Another one with one gold. Alrighty, nobody there. And next week, uh, or the next upload should be a either a Dodgers or an Astros video. I have to double check the order, but I think it's either one of those teams. So uh, we also have signature player packs on those teams. And uh, hopefully we can pull some team sigs. That'd be awesome. Four golds right there. Let's see who we get from this. There's a Stroman. Great right there. I can use him for upgrades. He's at level 18 right now. Let's do 20 more of these. And let's see if we can pull a diamond or a special card here. Let's see our first flash of blue. My computer's a little bit slower today, which is unfortunate, but uh, I have to run with it. My internet has been wacky for the past couple weeks. And honestly, you know what? I might as well just say it. It's always been kind of wacky. Always been kind of laggy. All right. Doesn't look like we got any other uh, beneficial things for our team there. Last 10 premium player packs. And then we probably have to do some special training on Ryu. Let's see our first flash of blue, possibly. If it will load. There we go. There we go. What did I tell you? We got a diamond. All right, let's see if it's a team card. And no, it's a Luis Robert, uh, or Luis Robert, excuse me. Uh, there's an Oledmus Diaz. Actually, not a bad card for the Blue Jays. He has a SIG for that year as well. But all right, that's the 50 premium player packs. One diamond. Uh, always good to see that. Let's see if we have any more space. If not, we'll do some special training. And if my computer can load faster, please. Thank you. Okay, we still have some space. Let's do these four premium vintage player packs. People have been pulling legends out of these. I haven't pulled a legend yet. Can we do it today? Right here. Nope. That day will come eventually, but no legend and no team card. All right. Let's do the team selected player packs. Now we have 23 of them. I don't think the Blue Jays have any legends. Yeah, they don't have any legends. I think a lot... The, uh, uh, a, co a couple other legends just got dropped in the game. Uh, another Red Sox legend. I think Jimmy Fox got dropped into the game. But I'm, I'm thinking, when are they going to add some Blue Jays legends? I've just noticed that too. Blue Jays don't have any legend cards. All right, no diamonds out of the first 10 team selective packs. We get two golds. Can we get some upgrades or BD material? Okay, those aren't BD material. Jansen, I think I have him at 20 already. Bichette and Stroman are good. All right, let's do 10 more. I think we can do all 23 of them or all 13 of these can we see blue or purple not that purple would really be useful but who knows i don't even know what kind of primes this team has all right two more golds again flip them over you say kikuchi and a ryu so ryu unfortunately already black diamond there's a joey bats jose bautista a uh, decent year there 2016 and uh, another 2016 bautista all right Pretty nice. All right, Bautista's back in the game, so he has his prime. I, I total that totally slipped my mind. If I get Bautista's prime, that'd be awesome. I think the base stats on his prime are better than his best sig too, which is 2015. All right, last three right here. No diamond and one gold. Okay, we're good with that. There's a uh, not a prime, but a vintage Dave Steeb. Uh, good card. I'm pretty sure he. This is the pitcher that lost two no hitters back to back and back to back starts correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure dave steve had no hitters going in the late 80s in one season and then he lost a no hitter in one game and then the next game he played he took a no hitter into the ninth inning again and then he lost it again so pretty heartbreaking there three golds right here let's see we get schwarber 21 i'm still searching for this card on my red sox team i haven't pulled him and uh, maybe I can get his SIG. But I think that's going to fill up the inventory. Let's do some special training and I'll be right back. All right, let's continue on with the packs here. We have six live season ultimate player packs. Let's see if we can get a live diamond out of this. Wow, okay, we don't. So only golds. Let's see if we get a blue jay. We get a Whit Merrifield right there. Not the best card, but I already have his normal. So I'm going to use this for upgrade material. That's okay. And uh, I didn't know Moustakis was on the Rockies right now. That's interesting. Uh, and Arias is on the Marlins. Very interesting to see these pictures. It's always fascinating to me seeing the new uh, profile pictures for these players that are on different teams. 
regular ultimate player packs now we have 22 of them we have to see some diamonds right okay there we go let's see how many three out of ten not bad right there can we get a blue jay right here okay we get danny jansen that's actually his best year right there i have him already though that same year there's a mancini would be pretty cool for my astros team but he wouldn't be make the team and then brandon nimmo right there as well so awesome we get a jansen that can be used for bd material or mentor uh, in the future let's do 10 more of these ultimates can we see another set of diamonds also that japanese player pack that i have i'll be going with yusei kikuchi's card he has a 2023 and 2022 blue jays card so i'm going with the 2023 one since his 2022 card is pretty terrible harold ramirez right there that's a ugly card so we'll move on and nothing else out of that batch of 10 uh hopefully we can pull a team sig today i am really really getting impatient uh, as far as getting a team sig for this uh, blue jays team we still have that t oscar hernandez 20 card in our backups and we have a free grade increase sitting in our inventory right now okay and that does it for the ultimate player pack so let's move on here let's do i believe the team select ultimate player packs are next and sorry guys forgive me again for this slow internet speed i don't have anything open on my computer right now it's literally just the game and my recording system all right six ultimate team selective packs can we see a diamond out of these six please okay there we go please bautista or somebody we get two out of six that's awesome somebody useful please of course not espinal that's actually not a bad year he had a pretty decent year in last year it's better than the one i have in the lineup but he's maxed at 20 already Manoa is okay, and another Espinal, and then Donaldson 15 for BD material, and this Peacock is just terrible, so he's probably going to go into special training and not even be used for Mentor. Okay, now let's do the Japanese player pack. Everybody gets one of these if you change your language to Japanese uh, in the game. I don't know how long it's going to last for, so get it while you can. I just got this the other day, but as you guys can see with this pack, you can pick from a variety of Japanese uh, heritage players. Uh, Masataka Yoshida, Lars Nootbaar, Seiya Suzuki, Utani, Maeda, uh, Cody Senga, Yu Darvish, but we're going with Yusei Kikuchi. And he's a 68 base currently. He's not going to make my rotation, but if he somehow turns things around and has a miracle season, he's going to possibly make the rotation. We'll see. But if not, he'll go into Mentor. So Yusei Kikuchi, 2023, selected. Let's see if we can get some good skills and a good grade increase on him. Flipping him around right now. 70, not bad at all. And then we get some triple one skills. Okay, we'll see how he pans out till the end of the season. I'll lock him up and uh, hopefully he has a good end to the season with the Blue Jays. Uh, just hopefully not against my Red Sox because I want my Red Sox to start winning. Anyway, speaking about baseball and, and the AL East, um, the Blue Jays, all, basically all the teams are above 500 right now, and the Red Sox are the worst. So I can't, I can't feel bad about the Red Sox. They're still playing great baseball. They're just in a really tough division. Okay, so Team Selective Position Diamond Player Pack. Ooh, this is a tricky one. I am going to go for Jose Bautista on this one. I'm going to go... Oh, I don't know. Okay, actually, I'll come back to that after. I have to take a look at that. Let's do the Live Season Diamond Player Pack. We'll come back to that team selective pack. If I don't get anything out of the regular team select diamond packs, then I think I'll make my decision based off of that. John Brebia, not a bad year he's having with the Giants. Uh, it's an average year, but he has a really good card right now. So not a team card. We'll probably put him into special training material since he probably wouldn't make the lineup anyway. All right, now moving onward. As the screen loads, thank you. All right, team select diamond pack here. Toronto Blue Jays. Let's see if we can get some good mentor material. Or Joey Bats. Trevor Richards. Actually, the same year I have already. Wouldn't be used for beating material, but can be used for mentor. That's a good pull. I'll take that any day of the week right there. Mentor material. Awesome. As the screen loads... Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're going to go two batter, one pitcher on this. 
because my batting order does need significant help. My bullpen is pretty much good except for Ken Giles. So if I can pull Ken Giles, that'd be great, but it's not something I need desperately. Alejandro Kirk, another terrible Blue Jays card. Not his good year, of course. His good year is 2022. Uh, but, man, I can't seem to pull even good Team Diamonds on this card out of regular teams like Diamond Packs. They're always just mediocre to average. I don't, I can't even recall the last time I pulled an excellent Team Diamond. All right, let's do another batter. And this one be at least above an 85. That's all I'm asking. A 70 overall card, at least. Another Guriel, and it's, uh, I've gotten this card quite a lot, actually, so. He's not going to be useful, really, unless I use him for mentor and upgrades. But perfect grade increase there again. Grade increase luck is pretty, pretty good, but can't seem to pull good cards. Alrighty. As the screen loads yet again, and we'll go one more time with a pitcher. Alright, come on. Not expecting much out of this. Let's see who we get. Flip him around. Of course, Sergio Romo. Please, I need a team sig. If this, this means I'm getting a team sig, it'll be all good. I don't even know if Romo's still in the league. Let me know in the comment section down below who he's playing for. He's basically an ancient relic he's getting really old <laughs> but um yeah this is just terrible all right ultimate wish actually team position selected diamond pack i'm gonna have to go with a first baseman i'm gonna see if i can get carlos delgado um just for the fun of it or should i go second base i think i gotta go second base and go for marcus Semyon. um whit merrifield is yeah, I'm going for Marcus Semyon because Vladimir Guerrero is at first base for me already. All right, here we go. Let's go for Marcus Semyon on the Toronto Blue Jays. We'll probably get Whit Merrifield, but it is what it is. Opening it up right now, please. Oh, no, we get Biggio. Oh, I, f I totally forgot Biggio was on the Blue Jays. But okay, that's actually not a bad card. Um, Work in progress. I can use him later on. He has a SIG, so chances of me pulling that aren't high, though. But now, with the Ultimate Wish Player pack, I'm going to go for Robbie Ray. And if we can get Robbie Ray as a diamond, my rotation is basically finished unless we get a Team Sig. That's a pitcher. Okay. Ultimate Wish Player pack, right before we get into the Signature Player packs, we won't be able to do a Sig combo, unfortunately, because we don't have enough stars. But if we do pull a Team card, we wouldn't need to do a Signature Player combo. So... Uh, Ability, sorry for me, I'm scatterbrained right now. Robbie Ray, it says Alec Manoa is better, but Robbie Ray has the better distribution to the left side, so I'm going for that. Let's do this. Robbie Ray, please be a diamond. Fingers crossed. Of course, it's not a diamond, all right. Okay, well, chances of that happening weren't high anyways. Okay, now is, now is the moment. Can we finally, please, can we finally pull a Team Signature card from Signature Player Packs? It has been over a year and a couple of months since I've pulled the Team Sig out of any pack. Three Signature Player Packs here. Let's pop them open all at the same time. Here we go. No diamond. Two golds, one silver. So we'll start with the silver player first. In the middle, we have a... Jose Ramirez, okay, 2016. That's actually one of his bad years. It's not really a good year. Let's do the gold on the left. We get a ooh, Trout 2015 cover athlete right there. That was an excellent year for him. Too bad I'm not an Angels team. And finally on the right, please be a Blue Jay, please. Ah, saw blue. No, it's not the right one. Ian Kennedy, 2016. So yet again, this Blue Jays team suffers the short end of the stick with SIG player packs, and we can't seem to get a team card. At least we didn't get trolled. I'll look at the bright side there. We did not get trolled at all. I'm sorry to those teams that need these cards, uh, but we didn't get trolled. But I have this great increase just sitting here waiting to be used, and I got nobody to use it on. So... Okay, so apparently I got a thousand stars for opening up signature player packs, which is something I didn't expect. So we actually do have a sig combo because we have the amount of stars. So let's do this. 
Trout, Ramirez, Kennedy, three golds. Let's see if we can get a team card. This is the last hope for the video. Coming away in three, two, one. Blue Jay, maybe. Uh, it's it's a uh, Kershaw, but we already have Kershaw, so actually one of his good years ah man again what does it take to pull a blue jays sig that's gonna really do it for today's video not really a successful video honestly we didn't really get anybody that could improve our team a lot of upgrade material though and a lot of uh black diamond material possibly mentor material as well but this Blue Jays team, man, I, I gotta tell you, I love it, but at the same time, I kind of dislike it because I can't seem to get anything to massively improve the team. It's always just small, slow, and steady upgrades, which is still upgrades, I'll give it that, but would love to pull a Team Sig one of these days. With that said and done, though, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below, hit share, and subscribe. Don't forget that the next upload will be coming this week, Saturday, instead of on Monday next week. It'll be June 3rd, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to check me out in the description box down below on my Instagram and my Reddit. I post MLB 9 content there weekly, and I know you guys would enjoy that. I also have a Discord server. Feel free to come and hang out with me there. We have a 9 innings community where we talk 9 innings, and uh, I help you out with the game if you need any. And uh, with all that said and done, have a great rest of your guys' day. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you all in the next video.